All right guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 2024 edition of our What's in the Bag featuring a brand new club sponsorship. Tacoma Golf, now we are both rocking the irons. We are back on the same team, creating content, playing the same clubs for the first time in a while and I'm excited. Another fist bump? Yes. There we go. I've been using them for the last few months. Y'all probably have known that. I think they're a very high quality iron mm -hmm. at a very, very good price. If we're being honest, if I were to go buy a set of clubs and I could get the same quality for half the price, that's what I would do. So I've enjoyed them. I knew George would like them. So uh, fir first and foremost, let's say thank you to Callaway because they were in all seriousness ones that mm -hmm. got us off the ground as Brian Bros, as you see it now. Yeah, without Callaway, there is no Brian Bros. In 2014 into 2015, they came to us and they were like, hey, we want, we believe in you guys. We want to sign y'all. And we're like, wait, really? And they, they let us and they believed and they put product in our hands. They, they allowed us to create content that we honestly never believed we could do. And you know, this is a thank you to Callaway for all the support over the years. It was an honor to being a part of the team and without Callaway, there is no Brian Bros, but we are super excited for this new chapter in Brian Bros Golf. Um, so let's let's hop right in to the what's in the bag, Wesley and George edition. All right, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll start with the wedges. My setup, I got 58, 56, 52, 46. These are all the new SM10s. Shout out to Aaron Dill, who has absolutely gone to work for me and my golf bag. We, we landed on some very odd numbers, but as far as it's very uncommon to see a 58, 56, 52, 46 yeah. set up, but they go the numbers that I want. I can get a lot out of the lob wedge, which, which I like. The 56 is probably more like 55 degrees, but I get, it's basically just spacing out numbers that I want to hit. Hey, speaking of numbers, stay tuned for later. This, we're going to go through our numbers as well. Spoiler alert. And like, we got the quad, we have some launch monitors here to give you some numbers. All right, continue on. Back okay, to back to the wedges. I've got, so I've got the S400 shafts mm -hmm. in these, which differs from my X1s that are in the irons. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. But the reason I go with a little softer shaft in the wedges, it provides a little bit more feel. So when I'm hitting shots, I guess as of late, they've been pretty poor with wedges. But when I'm hitting them good, I feel like I can feel them a lot more. Okay, nice. And right. so that's my wedge setup. I'm gonna throw these back in. All right, I, my wedges. So I have a similar setup. I have the 58, 54, 50, and 46 degree wedges. Uh, we have the... They're uh, really the, dirty too. Uh, they're very, like they, very old wedges, but the jaws raw. You're the beast. Um, got Captain America and do we you have even some glasses. Hold on, do you even clean your grooves? The 50 degree and the pitching wedge are old. I don't, I don't, I don't need to spend those that much. I want to run it No, 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 I guess. Um, no, but I've loved these wedges, um, the Callaway, still in the Callaway wedges. And then the shafts, what do we got here? We have the... NS Pro Modus. Um, you don't know anything about shafts. You're gonna sit here and talk about them, aren't I, you? No, I half know. Um, but the, the Modus, the Nippons are really good. But they're 125 wedge. Not sure if they're X Flex or stiff. So y'all are gonna know. <laughs> you'll probably know better than me. Johnny Wonder uh, fit me into these shafts a couple years back. And they we'll get to them in the irons, but they, I love these shafts. The grip, I got the Super Stroke uh, grips on all my irons. Um, You're going two tone with the wedges. I went with different colors. Okay. Um, make it a little, little flashy. Anti Toronto dialed up some beauties for me these year you know the year of the beast last year you guys thought it was last year it was over no it's this year we got to go on this year again um i need something right talk about anthony toronto and being a pioneer in the space people were into like stamping wedges and that's been a thing for a long time since we were kids he, basically he's one of the ogs and like his he upped it to art he turned his wedges into art so yeah. shout out anthony toronto um, on that I'm gonna lead us off here with the uh, with the irons. We'll start the shafts. I do know a lot about these Nippon uh, Modus Three Shaft Tour 130 <laughs> X Flex shafts. <laughs> he goes I just, from knowing nothing, dude. I know everything. I'm an expert. Um, I, I believe again. You guys watch this video probably gonna know best um, or know more about shafts and, and the techie things. But I do. I'm pretty sure that like these Nippons are a little stiffer in the handle, which for me, like I, I low, I have a lot of lag, and so I think it helps with with some launch. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, Carney or Wesley. Like, I think these shafts are meant to have a little lower spin and launch a little bit higher. Do which, you hit them good? Yeah. Hit them That's great. all that matters. I produce a lot of spin with my irons traditionally, and so this kind of takes a little bit off, off of it. But that's the shaft. The grip. So do you pr produce a lot of spin with the irons to make up for the lack of spin with the wedges? Probably. That's good. Well, full swing, a lot of spin with wedges. Chip shots, no spin with wedges. Uh, <laughs> we do have the super stroke grips, but the, the what you guys, what I'm excited about, 
the 301 CBs from Tacoma Golf. These things are beautiful. Um, I'm kind of going back to a little more of a traditional blade. There's what the um, the MBs, the 301 MBs are blades, but these to me, compared to what I've been, look way bladier. And as a result, I feel like I'm able to work them a little bit better. And especially with the three quarter shots, they don't go quite as far as the Callaways did. And so I feel like I have some feel in some certain yardages, which I really love. Um, but no, they're, they set up beautiful. They look exactly how I want an iron to look. And um, we'll dive into the, the yardages as we go on. But yeah, I have this. I have the CBs from nine iron all the way to four iron. But after seeing Wesley's, I've got like, so I've got the CBs nine iron through six iron. Reason mm -hmm. I went with these, I had the MBs initially through the seven iron, I believe, uh -huh. and. Maybe it was because I wasn't striking the ball super well. Blades are hard to hit. I man. know they were a little they're bit hard, but they're hard to hit. And so, I mean, I look up and down the range all the time yeah. when I'm playing in tournaments, and I see everybody that has all these nice, really small, thin blades. I just couldn't hit them anymore yeah. like I used to. So I went with the CB a little bit more forgiving of an option. In all seriousness, the reason I went to it, I was hitting them about the same number. My miss hits with the CBs were substantially better. And so when I started to see the miss hit numbers climbing closer to the stock number oh. and, and also not like with the CB, sometimes when you go with a little thicker iron, you'll get those top end numbers that jump around a little bit. So like the nine iron, say I hit a solid one that goes 155, then the next one could go like 158, 159, and then it can it can bounce around. So the top end with these, they didn't bounce around a lot, really just within a yard or two. So, all right, five iron. We've got the 101T right here. Mm -hmm. And this club right here, George, I'm telling you, is real nice. I, I sneaky want to get a whole set of them because they are gently more forgiving than the CBs. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get some work. I, I need those. They launch gently higher. And again, I, they, they, just, they just feel a little hotter off the club face. So again, the top end didn't bounce around a lot, so that's what I like about uh -huh. it. But again, the miss hit on these, they are actually a little bit better than, than the CBs. So now let's get into the X100. The reason I'm in the Dynamic Gold True Temper Tour Issue X100 shaft is because Growing up, I was always a Project X guy. I was Project X 6.5 because, again, same thing. I wanted uh, higher launch, lower spin, mm -hmm. iron shaft. Those things, I hit them fine, but it, it, there was not a lot of feel to it. It felt like I was swinging kind of a board. So I want to say it was actually when we signed with Callaway initially, and I got fit into, this was 10 years ago or so, I got fit into X1 shafts. and. From there, I started to have that same higher launch, lower spin, but I also got a lot more feel down at the club head. So like as far as being able to, I used to always work the ball a lot both ways. Now I'm kind of primarily cut, slice, slap slice. Not really turning the ball over too much right now. But anyway, I can, I can feel the club head a lot more uh, with the X1s. And so, yeah, that's the X1 All right. set up there. Five iron down. All right, and four iron, right now for the time being, um, I still haven't gotten my hands on the utility iron that Tacoma makes, but okay. the four iron, the reason I got this one in the bag, it launches to the absolute moon. I, it fills that gap from my five irons at like 215, and then my hybrid is at 250, so this yeah, is 230-ish cool nice. Perfect. club. And so, anyway, done with the four iron. All right, so those are the irons, and before we head into the heavy artillery, we're gonna go back to the tee box and do some stock yardages for each iron. See how far you hit them, see how far I hit them. Launches, spins, all that nerdy stuff. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, hope you all enjoyed the uh, the irons, the iron portion of this video, seeing our yardages, seeing our numbers. But now we're into the heavy artillery, um, some heavier than others. I got two, I got two <laughs> big daddies sitting down here that we're testing out. Um, but I have, so I have a three iron. We'll start with me. I have a three iron that's kind of acts as my hybrid. Did you just say we're going to go to like the woods and heavy artillery and the first club you pull out is a three iron? Well, I'm sorry, you, you have the lumber, but I have the bladier iron approach to hybrids because I'm just a better ball striker. But this one is a Rogue Pro or Rogue ST Pro from probably like five years ago. Gets about this high off the ground. Directly from my golf bag. From your golf bag, uh, Mitsubishi shaft. But no, this one is is more for off the tee, getting into play. Probably flies 225, 230, uh, maybe 235. But it's reliable. It's very reliable. Like my misses are within the rough lines, which honestly for me, the hybrid is what I wanted. Now, I wish I could hit it high and, and 245, 250 in the air soft. This is not that, um, but I love it. Next, three wood, we got the Paradigm. Wait a second, you just threw the head cover on there. Let's let's talk about the head cover first while you're taking it off. Let's Look see. at that, yeah. Maybe coming soon, we don't know. Um, but we got the Paradigm, um, 15 degrees down to 14, um, minus one in. Um, and we have the Ventus Black 7X shaft in here. Not sure what uh, minus one in does. It, uh, it, you guys. It opens up the club face gently and lofts it down gently to promote a little bit more of a right start line oh, and okay. a little less draw bias. Um, but no, great, I mean, I've hit this thing really well, loved it. Um, and then old, faithful, reliable, the Rogue ST, the Callaway. Um, Three generations ago. Three generations ago, got the ferrule that's slightly coming down, uh, set at minus one in, nine degrees, down to an eight degree. Um, but this shaft, the, Ven the Ventus Red 6X, tipped out, I think it's, it's stiff <laughs> in the tip, um, and the way this shaft works is, you know, I have a lot of lag. If we, you know, Johnny, <coughs> Johnny Wonder got me a shaft that, like, that basically allows me, even when my lag, I can deliver the club the most efficient way possible. Lo little, I guess, take some spin off of it, and I freaking love this thing. I mean, shout, you shout out to Johnny. I you mean, hit a lot of fairways, and whatever that club is, I just wouldn't be too antsy to get it out of I, the bag. I, I haven't been. Um, I know, we can tell. Like I said, it's like three years old. Three years old, the grip, maybe, maybe the original grip, I don't know. Club face is absolutely worn out, but love this club. Wesley, uh, I'm gonna go and leave, go take a lunch break, because it looks like we yeah, have I did. Quite, well, a, quite a while to get I took, your lumber. I know, I took quite the dive into finding the best possible wood setup for me, because as a lot of you guys watching this video, especially if you made it this far into the video, understand my struggles off the tee. <laughs> so, Without further ado, we head to the Stealth 2 19 and a half degree 3 Rescue. This is my 245 to uh -huh. 250 club. I've got the Ventus Hybrid 8X. This is one of the greatest clubs ever built. Shout out to Corey over at uh, TaylorMade. Now, if that was one of the best clubs ever built, this has got to be the best club ever built. This is the original Stealth Plus 3 wood. It is 15 degrees. Funny story, actually went on a long uh, shaft search to figure out how to get rid of the oopsies off the tee. Stumbled across, I needed really stiff and really light. So we've got the 60X GT uh, Diamante shaft. This thing uh, was really just thrown in the three wood to parlay what I have in the driver to have the similar feel. So this three wood, ultra reliable, hit way too many fairways than I can count with it and by way too many, probably just like half dozen or so say, um no that club actually in puerto rico was fantastic not the no, reason it? not the reason i missed the cut okay. there's no way it was That's a three great. wood all right or neither was it no you hit fairways i saw you i hit lots of fairways and also if you guys watch our live streams you know that i was dabbling around with the qi 10 ls driver and the ai smoke driver last week i landed on the smoke solely because it was battle tested mm -hmm. in the monday qualifier in which grant caddied for me i pulled it straight off the Callaway truck, straight into the golf bag, drove it great. So this thing, uh, I trusted it down in Puerto Rico, hit a lot of fairways yeah. for me, I hit it great. So right. I've got the uh, Triple Diamond Max, I've got it at nine degrees, set up totally standard, and this thing's been an absolute baby doll. Yeah. We're gonna put it to the test, actually, against here in just a second, to the TaylorMade QI-10 LS, of which it's also nine degrees, also same exact shaft, it's the GT50X Diamana, really light, really stiff, and I must say, without this shaft, I probably would have quit golf and not filmed any more YouTube videos because I was at that point. And so, without any more jabbering from us two, let's get into hitting some shots.
Now, last but not least. The putter. The putter, which has been an interesting situation in my bag. Yours Mine, has been pretty stable. It's been stable, but the last few months it's been, it's been acting up, but I mean, the last year, you can't argue with the results, but we, we start up top, we got the Super Stroke, custom Super Stroke Brian Bros grip, uh, the Tour Pistol, it's an absolute, absolute beaut. Um, but we have the double wide, the white hot Versa from Odyssey. Um, I mean, this it resurrected my career in YouTube and and I guess half half pro golf. I mean, I mean, you are a double wide kind of guy for sure. Um, no, but like I started playing the best golf of my life, putting with this. Um, of late, hasn't been there, but again, overall, I have rolled the rock extremely well with this. Kind of mer uh, merges the the mallet and the blade together into one. Double wide. <laughs> and, yeah, I, love, I love this thing. And I've gone back and forth between mallet and blade over the last year. Obviously, I went through a little phase where I was locking it in. Yeah. But we're back in Old Faithful, which is the original Odyssey Metal X Milled 2. Mm -hmm. Very generic, beat-up shaft. I mean, this is yeah. this is the original from, what, 2014? Yeah. 2014, so this is the baby doll that I rocked a, a long time with. Got a new grip on it, although it's getting older. But I got the uh, Super Stroke. SGP 1.0. Uh, it's more of that traditional grip it, yeah. instead of the, the super stroke wider down on the bottom. So this is the putter, rocking with it for the time being. Time being. But we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So So that's those are those are those are the hardware, that's those are the clubs, that's our whole bag. But there's obviously more in the bag and around the bag that we want to dive into. All right, and now to the softer goods. I uh, use what I think is the 2021 Pro V1X. I honestly don't even know why, but that's the one I started when I switched golf balls. That's the one I used, and I haven't switched over to the new one. So anyway, number one ball in golf is what I use. Also, I guess it's the number one glove in golf. I think this is the title is Player's Glove, Cadet Medium. And uh, George, George, what golf balls are you playing now? Playing the Chrome Tour X, Triple Track. Um, the funny story behind the triple track, I don't even use it to like roll. I just use it that I didn't have to mark my golf balls because what pro golfers, you really use the triple track, not a lot of them. But no, I love, love this golf ball. I mean, we've been in the Chrome, what well, was the Chrome Soft X, now the Chrome Tour X. I've been that for like 10 years, so played well with it, love do it. You think, do you think you're going to switch into my golf ball? They, I mean, you switched into my irons. If they gonna... send me golf balls, then I'm not going to not try it, put it that way. And then the Olakai, the Wild Eyes, these are our golf shoes that we wear. The Wild Eyes, these, like, they blend fashion and style. They're comfortable. I think, for me, they they perform well, but also they go with every outfit. They look good. You can wear them off the course. I, I wear them just as much off the course <laughs> as I do on the course. Link is in the description, but shout out to Old Kai. Um, still rocking the Callaway. Whatever the Wait, tour, would you, tour would you like to try my, my Titleist I'm, I'm One the, players? I love these gloves. Well, I the Callaway gloves. Come on, George. No, let's no, like... Hey, we got more stuff in the golf bag. Because you, know, you know it doesn't end with just gloves and golf balls. Uh, okay, let's go see what we got. How pretty is that? Are they for sale? Probably uh, not. We're at one point. If you got them, it's a collector's item, all right? <laughs> Are we going to get some more made? Yes or no? Uh, yes, we will get more uh, made. But we got the Brian Bros ball marker, which is perfectly thin, has a logo. Um, what else we got? Uh, that's, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tees, Brian Bros tees. They're pretty. Hit a lot of fairways, too, because of these tees. Um, and then we go into Tsunami Bar Sports, uh, the swing balance, multi stick. A little warm up. CG3, he always has one of these. Great for warm-ups and also for travel. Keep the uh, clubs kind of safe. And then I just put this in the bag. Uh, bought one of these things uh, for a tripod. Now, tripods are obviously more stable, but this thing is very convenient. Throw it in the ground, pop the phone on here, magnetic, and you can film. Very convenient. That's it. Sharpies, snacks. We got just in case emergency snacks. Well, see, now if you go, if you come over into my golf bag, I've got um, the tape. We match the, ta the tape. George hooked me onto this tape. If you are not into next care, next care, it's basically like skin that goes on. So, next care tape. I've got my uh, PGA Tour credential, George. Mine's in my, mine's in my uh, camera bag. I keep some icy hot in here because you never know. As well as Toradol, in case you need that. Ibuprofen. Yeah. That's a, that's a, Driver tool. This right here, this has got pretty much. That's all what's in the bag. Also, on our, not on our bags, but around our bags, row bag, I don't know if they've come out yet, with these, uh, the hoodie that's like a t-shirt, this lightweight. Yeah. We also were com conveniently we're matching. matching. <laughs> uh, but no, this thing is. It's not a hoodie. It's a, it's a literal, it's just a t-shirt. And then it has the, the, hood on. the hood on it. But man, uh, these things are good. So uh, shout out to Roback. Link in the description if you want to go check out buy any gear. They, they've been on the team for like three years now, four years. Oh, 
I got it. We're, we're at Selena Club right now. We are. I got a Selena golf towel. George has a uh, Brian, Brian Bros. Bros towel. Very dirty Brian Bros towel. Before we forget, before this video ends, we, we got to bring back up like Tacoma. Like we can't express a our excitement to join the team, the family over at Tacoma uh, to be to be playing these irons. Um, 301 CBs for me, and then Wesley has a CB as well, and one or two 101 tees depending on how he's feeling. Um, but no, it's just, it really the, the irons are great. I've played one one tournament round that uh, we can't talk about yet. The uh, Q. The Q. Um, and I've played around town only for like a week or so with them and they uh, i i haven't hit irons this well in a long time i'm excited for what we got with the irons but then also some other stuff we have cooking up in the works that you know i mean we might that might be coming to fruition between we, like wedges or putters we or might be designing wedges some things sure. um and so again there's a lot of exciting things that we're going to be doing with tacoma moving forward i'm excited to bring y'all in on that process and have y'all along for the ride and like we mentioned in the basically to open up the segment on the irons. One, they're a great brand. I've really mm -hmm. enjoyed working with Sebastian and the whole squad over there. Two, they literally are some of the cheapest irons that you can buy on the market. And, and also like from price point wise, yeah. some of the cheapest that you can buy. And they actually perform just yeah. like the, if you got Titleist or TaylorMade or Callaway or whatever in your bag, I'm telling you the performance is 100% on par with those. So again, a lot like Roback, uh, direct to consumer, you're never going to see the Roback clothing in a golf shop or, or whatever. Yeah, they just it's the same thing with irons. You're yeah. probably not going to see these irons sitting in a pro shop, but it's maybe a, Selena's pro shop. Oh, well, this maybe. is obviously yeah. this, is, yeah, you just never know. What anyway, you're gonna find so here. all I have to say, like, we're excited to be a part of the team, the brand. I'm excited to play these in, in competition, and I'm excited for you guys to watch and join in on the journey. And I thank you all for watching the video. Thank you all for subscribing if you are subscribed. Um, it's been a fun last really last year playing shooting content and we got a lot of we have a lot more fun things in the works tomorrow tomorrow we got peter finch coming we have peter hey, in see. the united states on american soil we got peter finch here for the next two days so and so look out for those videos in the coming weeks um until next time i think that's do we do we miss anything uh I, at this point i literally do not think that we missed anything i mean we got all the way down to the next care tape george we didn't miss anything hey put it there Hey, welcome to Team Tacoma. I've been on it for a few months now. I'm really excited for you to join this journey with me, George. You're going to really love it, man. See you hey, guys. See you guys.